To the Nord Highlands we go. Now these two don't like each other? These sandwiches really hit the spot. Ham, lettuce, and cheese? And I'm getting a hint of pickle in there too. Ew. Well, Machias, Elliot, good luck. Don't die. We're gonna go play some Blade. <laughs> well, alright. Oh, well, looks as though Shit. I win. My victory Dude. was assured. <clears throat> Anyways, this is where we split up. Fee, Laura, you both take care too. Yeah, there's a lot of tension in the class. <gasps> what was that? Who is that? Is something on your mind, Elise? Elise, is that not Reen's sister? Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Like your brother, perhaps? Hmm? What? Please, your highness. Your highness? Wait, what? Who? I can't imagine what would bring him to the capital this early in the morning. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. Uh-huh. Raising eyebrow. <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now, I'm only teasing. There's no need to sulk. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But that's an adult lingerie brand. What? What the hell's going on? I look forward to accompanying you today. The Nord Highlands are a mountainous region to the northeast of Erebonia. In addition to the scenery, the Nord Highlands are also well known for the breeding and raising of horses. Ruer Station. Hello, sir. Perhaps we should purchase some lunches for the rest of our journey. I like the way you think. Well, look who it is. How did you get here before us? Ah. Uh. The power of my love for you allows me to do the impossible, my lady. Ah, uh, you're psychotic. I've prepared packed lunches for all of you that far surpass this morning's offering. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, you're not so bad after all. I may not be able to return to Trista for a while either. Thank God. I mean, no. Sharon will be assisting me with my work. Yeah, it's got to be your mom. Mom, mom, mom. Mamma mia. Elisa, your mom is hot. I'm Elisa's mother, Irina. I'm Reen. Protagonist. I wish I could stay a while, but unfortunately, I have work that can't wait. Elisa, you wouldn't mind if... Seriously? Oh. You show up like this and that's all you have to say? Never mind. I have no intention of forcing the Reinford group on you. That's... that's good, I guess? Even if you decide to follow a certain someone's path and cast aside all sense of responsibility, it's your choice to make. I'm guessing that's her husband or perhaps ex-husband. And, uh, you know what that means. In addition to my other responsibilities... She's one of the, 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 the people, the chairmans, the executives, the... I also sit on the Academy's board of directors. There we go, that. Please excuse us, my lady. Goodbye, Sharon, you traitor. So there's the gate, and past this red line is a different country, right? We have arrived, at last. Zender Gate. It's a pleasure to see you again, Lieutenant General. I'ma be honest, you just look evil. These must be your classmates. I'm Zex Vander, commanding officer of the Imperial Army's division. The Vanders are a celebrated military family, responsible for the protection of the Imperial family. <laughs> I'm just a military man, hardly deserving of quite that level of praise. Big open fields, all right. Lovely sky. The grass is very green, good on that. Horses! I call dibs on the black one. I'm afraid I've never ridden a horse before. You can ride with me! It should have been me! <laughs> and we're off. Do I... Can I control it, or...? <sighs> this is worlds apart from the bustle of the city. Wee! Look at this, bro. I'm Link. I feel so free! The goddess of the winds bestowed upon me! I'm officially cool, I think. It's very peaceful. I'm not gonna lie. It's very peaceful, much better than the actual cities. Oh, his, uh, siblings. Hey, Lily. Ch she Cheetah? Glad to see you looking well, too. Fo Foma? Foma? Those are your parents? Dad? Mom? I'm home. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I'm Gaius' mother. Fatma? Fatma? <laughs> what the hell type of- Lovely, lovely place. Oh, that's a big bowl. That's a lot of food. Tales of Emperor Dracul's exploits are passed down here in Nord. After the war ended, he became Emperor of Erebonia and swore eternal friendship with the people of Nord. While the people of Nord are not counted as true Erebonians, they are still regarded as our close neighbors and allies. Sorry, I know you girls probably would have preferred separate rooms, but this is what we've got. Reen and Eustace are both gentlemen after all. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. The next day. Oh, it's too goddamn early. You're up early, Reen. Oh, what's up, uh, Gaius? Morning, guys. Whoa, Gaius, my dude. You got some for me? Gaius can now use S-Craft. Calamity Hawk. Sure. One second. Lot of red. Holy crap. How do you lock on? How do you lock on? What did Here I just do? Come. I Be switched careful, people. 
wins. Give us your blessing. What the hell? Grant me your strength. Okay. Damn. What the hell? Yo, his his S break is his S break is crazy. Yeah, this turbo mode actually kind of helps. Holy crap! So that's the Republican Army's base. I'd like you to collect a medical herb. I need run, 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 run. Whoa! Whoa! We almost died. There you go, man. Here's your weed. That's the quest monster. I'm just gonna kill him with this. All right, sir, mission accomplished. It seems you finished all this morning's tasks. Yeah, we hit all the settlements. So two envelopes in one day. That's a, that's a record. Nice sheep. Oh yeah, that's a giant. That's a giant stone giant. Go. Is that a dinosaur? Oh, thanks for tracking them all down. Take this as my thanks, fresh milk. I would prefer money, but we should get back right away. Ugh, dude, go with Gaius or Uses. Oh, that's the doc. I knew it. That was weed. Hey, Gaius, I'm I'm all right. Yeah, sorry for worrying you. What happened? I smoked some. I'm still not sure what caused it. When I was nearing the settlement, the steering wheel started to feel stiff. Ah, yeah, the steering pump. Oh, that's right. I mean, her whole family, Orbo, you know, Reinford. Yeah, looks like there was a contact failure in the quartz circuits nearing the engine. Of course. Yep, I, I knew that. Up near Lake La Crema in the Northern Highlands lives an elderly man from the empire. Oh, the hermit lives in that cabin over there. That's a, that's a pretty sick cabin. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe it's her dad? Excuse me? Anyone home? Her dad or older brother? Perhaps grandfather? Well, if it isn't Gaius. Haven't seen you around for, what, half a year? And little Elisa's here too. <laughs> Why? I don't think I've seen your face in... Oh, must be coming up on five years now. G -g 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 grandpa Yeah, Grandpa. Okay. I'm Gwen Reinford, Elisa's favorite granddad. But you've sure done a lot of growing in the last five years, Elisa. What do you mean by that? You're taller and... Bigger. You're a perverted old guy. Uh, Mr. Reinford, we need your assistance. Our car broke down. Oh, damn, it's already dusk. Okay, we're good to go. You mind if I ride with one of yous? Gaius, he's all yours. God damn it. Dude, that looks dope. But that Emma girl is really nice, too. She's got those glasses, that hair you want her to let down. My voice is about to crack. I can't do that voice anymore. I'm sorry. Come on, you know you agree with me. W well, I can't really say that I disagree with you, but... Did you accidentally collide with her on your way to school, causing her to drop the toast she held between her sweet lips? What is wrong with you, dude? And as the dust cleared, did the two of you find yourself sprawled on the ground in an unlikely yet heart-racing position? Yo, this guy's too much. Change in music, change in tone. Okay. Oh, it's her. I wonder what they're doing all the way out here. I wonder what you're doing out here. Okay, let's get this mission started. Good talk. Look at him go. Damn. He's a natural. If only you were that skilled, Elisa. This is too... It's too beautiful, too peaceful, that I doubt it's gonna stay this way forever. Elisa? I think my eyes were bigger than my stomach. What? I'm going to go out and get a little fresh air, okay? Okay. Sure. And me, as the main character, yep, I'm gonna notice, and I'm gonna go after. Yep, okay. What's up, Emma? I'm such an idiot. Yeah. What am I even doing? Okay, so that's his, her mom and her dad, who kind of looks like Gojo for some reason. Elisa? You need some company? Preferably not mine? What are you doing out here? Did you eat too much? Yeah, I had to let one rip. You doing okay? You seem a bit unsteady there. Yeah, too much alcohol? Nothing like that. I'm just feeling a little out of it. Okay, well, hope you feel better. I'm just going to stay out here for a while and get some fresh air. Then I'll be f Whoa! What? <laughs> Sorry about that. The hell was that? We've been riding all day. I'm not surprised you're feeling tired. Okay, okay, you can let go now. You can, you can stand up. Hey, Elisa. Look up at the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's that one child. Wow. Never mind. It, it, yeah, it's pretty good, okay. If you're out here to get some air, better to take in the starlight than look at the ground, right? Yeah, okay, the story is pretty much saying that these two will eventually get together. That's, that's cool. All right, I guess. What the fuck are we doing, bro? We are lying like a plank. My father was a technician. Eight years ago, he passed away. Oh, shit, we're just, okay, we're just talking about this. All right, cool. Also, the grass makes me itchy. She used to treasure our family, but after that, it's like she could barely spare a thought for us. Oops. <laughs> oh. That's his response? Oh. But at least I wasn't alone. 
Grandfather and Sharon were always there for me. Yeah, exactly. There you go. The nobles looked down on me, of course, but the common people treated me like I was different from them, too. Mmm, interesting. Grandfather introduced me to all kinds of different hobbies, like horseback riding and playing the violin. Sharon taught me self-defense and archery. And all the high society etiquette expected of a lady. Okay, okay, see, now this makes her character a bit more likable slash understandable, I guess. But a few years ago, the Reinford group finally went too far. Uh-oh, they made tanks. Those two railway guns set up in Gorelia Fortress on the eastern edge of the Empire. Wait, what? Is, are those the guns from the prologue that we suffered with? I've only seen their spec sheets, but the destruction they're capable of is terrifying. So that's why Reen was shouting no at the beginning, because if they fire that... In just a couple hours, they could wipe Crossbell City and its 500,000 citizens off the map. Well, that that is a bit scary, yeah. <laughs> As he was hesitating over whether to hand them over to the Imperial Army, my mother betrayed him. I couldn't believe my mother would betray her own father. I couldn't believe grandfather would take it without fighting back. I couldn't believe that we're still on this grass, bro. It's itching. Meeting everyone in class seven, the lacrosse club, you. You, okay, yeah. There's a little bit of spice here. I'm a better person for it. Your support has already made a difference. You're welcome. That'll be 100,000 Mira, please. Truth be told, I came to check on you because Emma asked me to. You should not have said that. <laughs> Sorry to ruin the moment. Okay, 0255 hours, shift's almost over. No sign of anything suspicious, or anything at all, really. Why do we even do this every day? Oh dear. What was that? Change of music, okay. What the? Did they just get shelled? Zendergate needs to know about this. What the? No way. Holy crap! Yo! Where is it coming from? Who knows? I-I'd run. Oh, Adios. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. GG, boys. 